There will be, I hope, a statement, official statement by Suharko concerning uh, his uh, most probably his resignation. Maybe, yeah. Why do you expect that? Why? Because I got uh, see my authentic uh, news before midnight that uh, that most probably the old man has resigned. You know. And he will uh, give a national speech tomorrow morning uh, between 7 to 8. This is what I heard. I could be misled by this news, you know. Uh, but, but I believe that uh, uh, Suharto's days are numbered, you know. I think he's counting his days, you know. So, so there is no other alternative that he should resign. And I hope uh, my prediction is right. Yeah. I think the nation will be happy, will be relieved gitu, of, because Suharto is the problem. Uh, so by getting rid of him, I think uh, the nation, including me, will feel you know gratified, satisfied, happy. Yeah. And from then on, I think we can talk about economic reforms, political reforms. You know, after this obstacle has been eliminated from the scene. Yeah. According to the Constitution, the Vice President will take over the job. He will be uh, sworn in, you know, uh, as the new President. But let me tell you that uh, uh, according uh, to what I have heard from different peoples uh, from all walks of life, Habibi could be just the temporary leader of this country. I think he has to just prepare, you know, the next uh, session of the People's Assembly to uh, install new president and vice president. I could be wrong. Yeah, that's why I I I think. Uh, I put my reputation at stake, you know. <laughs> if tomorrow Suharto will still uh, talk about the same substance, that yes, I will resign, but yes, I will step down, however, I think uh, I would be somewhat embarrassed. But however, I can tell you with uh, full confidence that uh, his num I mean, his days are numbered, believe me. Yeah. So I think we can pick up uh, good leaders uh, from the armed forces, from Golkar, from political parties, even from NGOs, from outstanding campuses, because I believe that uh, not all Golkar cadres are corrupt and hopeless. You know? I think there are some of them who are progressive, who believe in democracy, and so do the people in the armed forces. You know? So I'm very optimistic that this great nation uh, has a very good uh, leadership potentiality. Yeah? That's why we have to say goodbye to this old man uh, and we, we just bless him that he will be pardoned by the Almighty God in the hereafter. Yeah? I mean, if Suharto can give us a good uh, guarantee that he will or he has resigned, and then uh, all the demonstrations just will uh, disappear, believe me.